Anthony Raftery was born in uh, Kil- just outside Kilchamock in County Mayo. He was one of nine children, and um, when he was about six or seven, they got smallpox, and all of them died, but he. He, however, uh, lost his sight, and the last thing he saw before he went blind was his eight siblings laid out on the floor. <coughs> He had, a, he had a patron in Frank Taff, his father's employer, and uh, he went out one night on uh, to get some more drink for the house, himself and his servant, and uh, he, he, he was on one of the fine horses and he fell over and the horse broke his leg and was killed and uh, the patron threw him out and he spent the rest of his days as a, a blind busker. And this poem that he wrote for Mary Hines, it's a a sort of a wailful charm, a blind man praising a village beauty whom he cannot see. Anthony Raftery, Mary Hines. Going to mass by the heavenly mercy, the day was rainy, the wind was wild. I met a lady beside Kiltartan and fell in love with the lovely child. My conversation was smooth and easy, and graciously she answered me, Raftery, dear, tis yourself that's welcome, so step beside me to Ballylee. The invitation there was no denying. I laughed with joy, and my poor heart beat. We had but to walk across a meadow, and in her dwelling I took my seat. There was laid a table with jugs and glasses, and that sweet maiden sat down by me. Raftery, drink, and don't spare the liquor. There's a lengthy cellar in Ballylee. If I should travel France and England, and Spain and Greece, and return once more to study Ireland to the northern ocean, I would find no morsel the like of her. If I was married to that youthful beauty, I'd follow her through the open sea and wander coasts and winding roads with the shining pearl of Ballylee. Tis fine and bright on the mountainside, looking down on Ballylee. You can walk the woods picking nuts and berries and hear the birds sing merrily. But where's the good if you've got no tidings of flowering branch that resides below. O summer sky, there's no denying it is for you that I ramble so. My star of beauty, my sun of autumn, my golden hair, O my share of life, will you come with me this coming Sunday and tell the priest you will be my wife? I'll not grudge your music, nor a feast at evening, nor punch, nor wine, if you'd have it be. And king of glory, dry up the roadway till I find my posy at Ballylee.